Hello, Libra. It looks like the only thing that you need to do in order to attract the relationship of a lifetime is to sit back, relax, keep your eye on the prize. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Libra Tarot reading. It's a general reading, usually between two energies. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. Build in breaks, number 15, reduced to a six, saunter slowly eyes on the prize okay number 44 reduced to an eight trust the guidance of your north star trust the guidance of your north star hmm. okay this feels like really receptive feminine energy you don't you're just you're attracting everything you're attracting your abundance. You don't have to exert your masculine energy as much anymore. Stuff just comes to you, which is ideal. <laughs> which is ideal so you could point your energy at specific things instead of over extending yourself. Show me what's going on with Libra, please. It's coming straight for you. <sighs> I'm even hearing when you're resting. Seven of Cups underneath. Ace of Pentacles. Wander, which is the Fool in this deck. Seven of Wands. Ten of Swords. Nine of Swords. Ace of Cups. Two of Wands. Mm. You're attracting multiple things. Hmm, this is kind of funny. Attracting multiple things. The Ten of Cups is one of those things. It may not be with this person, though. I'm going to read this side as you, Libra. This is the person you're connecting with. This is the situation. It does feel like this connection had a real shot. Uh, yes, I said had. <laughs> um, it feels like this connection had a real shot. Ace of Coins. Okay. Um, your heart was ready. But it feels like with the Ten of Swords coming right after the Ace of Cups, it's like this like crashed seconds after takeoff. Seconds after takeoff. Okay. This person isn't as ready as they have said that they are. Okay. They're not as ready as they've said they are. Show me the Ace of Coins. You're ready. You're showing up as the fool with the Ace of Cups in your hand. You're totally ready. Show me the Ace of Coins. Empress, card of Taurus and Libra, death, card of Scorpio. There's that ten of cups. Five of wands, wheel. Queen of wands. Uh-huh. So there's going to be something that, well, there where this person sees you continuing on your path. Potentially, they, I mean, if you guys are friends on social media, then that would be a very easy way to see you. But they're going to see you crushing it because that's all the queen of wands does. <laughs> That's all the Queen of Wands does. And the Empress is literally generating the Ten of Cups. Okay. Um, and as she pulls this into her energy, only those who vibrate at that level of Ten of Cups are going to be allowed to stay. So you see as this person comes in, it's an immediate Five of Wands. They clash with that Ten of Cups that's trying to materialize. So it changes. The Wheel of Fortune turns so it can just cir circulate them out of your life and you keep on trucking okay queen of wands three of wands seeing what's out there what's going to come in next and meanwhile they're going to watch you as well show me the wanderer the fool please show me the wanderer yeah long-term soulmates coming in don't worry about it six of cups ten of coins yeah long-term stable there's something there that's really there is something there that's really luxurious so if you're into the finer things in life yeah it's it's coming don't worry show me the ten of swords okay 
King of Coins, Eight of Cups, Taurus energy. Okay. Um, there's something here where you have actually mastered where to take your cup forward and how much to guard it. Okay. Um, there's also something here with this new connection coming in that's going to put to rest an old mindset that uh, set you up to fail in the past. Show me the Ace of Cups, please. Show me the Ace of Cups. Lovers. Tar yep. <laughs> ah, it's worth the wait, isn't it? This powerful, explosive, not in a bad way, love connection. Okay, we got Gemini and Scorpio there. Kick off of a brand new beginning in love. Let's see. I'm going to go here. Give me that one. Let's see what's going on with this person. So it feels like this was a recent miss. Okay. Or it's like, all right, now it's time to move on to the swipe right on the next one kind of thing. Show me the seven of wands, please. Show me the seven of wands. Yeah, they're literally blocking love, creating confusion, and that breaks down everything. It get, it gets them more hurt than they realize. We have Gemini and Scorpio again. Lover's Tower, Lover's Tower. It just means two completely different things with the Seven of Cups and Seven of Wands. Show me the Nine of Swords, please. Ah, Ace of Wands, Ten of Cups. Four of Swords, Six of Pentacles, that one wants to come out too. Chariot, Card of Cancer. There's a lot of regret here that they didn't take the initiative when the initial match was struck here. Okay. Seeing that this was a Ten of Cups possibility. Okay. It looks like this person does take a little bit more time to heal themselves before getting back out there with the Chariot. Show me the Two of Wands, please. Show me the Two of Wands. King of Wands, Creator, Five of Cups. Well, they realize it's over. Leo Energy, they realize that 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 this this choice is no longer a choice to be with you. Can you tell me a little bit more about this Ace of Cups Lovers Tower? This incredible connection here that ends up being a Six of Cups Ten of Coins. Ooh, it throws you off your game a little bit. Okay. It does. It throws you off your game a little bit. Ooh. So, Libra, because um, of, you know, getting you as the feminine here. If you have been in relationships where the masculine didn't cherish you properly, didn't focus on you properly or consistently, okay, um, now that you are going to have that, it's going to feel like too much when it's actually correct. Okay. So think about that um, because it's going to come off as this masculine is a little bit obsessed with you when really he's actually dedicated in cherishing you. You need to understand the difference between those two because it looks like it's going to cause some gun shyness or some anxiety and sleepless nights. Um, there is nothing to be afraid of here. There's nothing to be afraid of here. Um, he just knows how to properly focus on his feminine. Okay. To actually be there for you consistently and thoroughly. So you want for nothing. You're going to be treated properly and that, that can feel like too much when it finally happens because you could be used to scarcity. Wow. Can't wait to look in on this guy. Okay. I'm going to go over the extended. I'm going to look in on this new guy. I'm going to see what's going on with him and his current energy near future and final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you're interested in any of that information, along with messages from spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye.